Hi Facebook, Immigrants United, this is Shabnam Lutfi, and I have a small message for those that are, cases have been pending administrative processing for more than six months, more like a year or so, and the person is a diversity lottery winner. So my recommendation is um, after you've contacted a congressional representative, after you've contacted the embassy repeatedly over and over again asking for a status update, after you have patiently waited for your case to be adjudicated, I think the only option you have left is to try to file a writ of mandamus. So it may work, it may not. It's possible that the threat of filing a writ of mandamus is enough to get you know your case moving forward. Um, but basically, when you file a writ of mandamus in federal court, what you're doing is you're taking the government there, you're taking the government to court, and you're getting a judge, you're trying to convince a judge to order the government to complete their job. Um, it's possible that it would work. It's possible that threat of doing it and just filing it is enough. I don't think the government has the resources, capabilities, time, and energy to take cases to court and to have to appear. Uh, so they may just get the admin processing completed in in order to bypass the, the litigation aspect of it. So if, for people who are diversity lottery winners and you're working against a clock, you're, it might be something worth pursuing. You need an attorney that is licensed in that state. So I live in Wisconsin and I'm licensed in Wisconsin. I can go to federal court in Wisconsin. I can't take on a case in California, New York, DC. You gotta find a local attorney that is licensed to take that case to that court. Good luck, I wish you guys the best. Take care.